Take one look at the amazing new Devon Boathouse, and it's pretty clear great things are happening on the Oklahoma River. But it's not until you step inside the world-class facility that you realize just what a gem the brilliant blue boathouse truly is. Photojournalist Tim Money and I took a tour of what may be the premier training facility in all the world for elite rowers and canoe kayakers. This is the dynamic propulsion rowing tank. It's uh, sort of the first of its kind that's been built in the world. And uh, what makes it dynamic is that the whole contraption moves, so just like a boat. Um, and this is on the first floor of the Devon Boathouse, the new Devon Boathouse. Um, so when you walk in, this is one of the first things you see. Uh, and it's just a great place for us to get work done when the water's bad outside or it's windy or it's frozen or we, have, we don't have enough seats for the amount of people we have. Um, we also use it for team building, corporate team building. Uh, if they want to come in, they can run through a session here and uh, learn how hard it is to learn something new and have to work together. So this is our, uh, our hydrotherapy tank slash endless swimming pool. Um, it's the largest of its kind that the manufacturer has ever made. So it's another little uh, unique aspect about the boathouse as well. Um, you can see that there's two different stations for swimming. So athletes are able to come in here with a, a buddy, you know, have a buddy system and, uh, and just swim as part of their cross training or as uh, part of some variety in the training program. Um, again, in the winter months when often it's too cold to be on the water or and we're on the erg for a lot of the time, it's good to have some variety in the training program so the athletes don't get burnt out on the erg. So this is just fantastic. Um, again, there's nothing like this in any boathouse in the world and um, it's pretty special to have that. So this is where athletes will come and they are supposed to spend 8 to 12 hours in here a day. And they do it for a chunk of time leading up to a race. And the idea is that it puts them in an environment where they're at a decreased uh, oxygen level. So their body has to get more efficient using that oxygen so that when they come out of this room or down to altitude, they have a sort of a burst of oxygen in the air that, that they get to utilize and use. Um, I'm, a, I'm a retired athlete and I'm already like, I walk in and I'm like, <sighs> I'm winded. I mean, it's almost instantly, it's really neat. It's really neat to see. Uh, and the cool part is that it's, you know, it's open. So if you're in here, you're not totally isolated. You can, you know, it's sort of uh, like looking at an animal in the zoo. Except we encourage you to feed the animals. Uh, but they get to see their friends out there like working out, they can work out in here. It's, it's very connected to the room and I think it's a part of our a workout space, which I think is cool. In all my experiences, uh, there's, I've never seen one in a boathouse. Um, this has always been something that's like advanced technology is reserved for like, the, you know, the real sports like, um, you know, track and field or football, baseball, basketball, all the, all the sports that have money and would, would get things like that. And the great thing about Oklahoma City is that now we have that kind of support here and it's, Rowing is treated like a professional sport, and so it only makes sense that they would give them every advantage, give these athletes every advantage, and that's what they've done. So this is our uh, our weightlifting facility. Um, this is more designed for the upper body area, and downstairs we have where the Olympic lifts take place. Um, we've tried really hard to do a couple of things. First of all, make it very rowing specific, um, and make it very much a high performance center for rowing. So you won't see any of the, the machines you might see in a commercial gym like a bench press or um, you know, shoulder press, those kind of things. Uh, very much um, focused on back exercise, pulling exercises. Um, we also have all the free dumbbell weights and the benches at the other end as well. And the other thing we've tried 
hard to do is maximise our floor space, which is a very valuable commodity in any gymnasium, um, so that the athletes have plenty of room to stretch and do their core exercises and, uh, and just basically be as comfortable as they can while they're working out. All right, so here we are in our main boat bay. Uh, this is where we store, this is like the heart of the boathouse, really. This is your equipment, this is where you launch from, this is where you sort of meet, this is where everything, you get ready to row, uh, and we come down here and, uh, this is like our garage, this is where we keep all our fancy cars, except they're boats. Um, so these boats are pairs, singles, fours, quads, doubles, and eights. Uh, we got everything. And you can see it's it's a lot of boats, which is for me is really exciting to see because you know I didn't when I was running I didn't always have we didn't always have the nicest equipment, but here they got we have everything we need. And these boats range from you know for example this boat here could be is going to be about thirteen thousand dollars, and then re ranging up to uh, eight some eights get to be forty five thousand dollars, depending on which one you get and where you get them, but. Uh, you know, this is, we have plenty of oars. This is where we keep all our oars. We have uh, plenty of boats to row, and uh, it's just a it's just a beautiful space. I think it's like to me, this is um, I, I like this is like my favorite part of the boathouse. Coming down here and seeing the doors open and just seeing like all that light come in and uh, just being able to walk right down into the dock. It's nice. Came from a boat. I came from a boathouse where you had to like turn the boat sideways and like bend halfway and just get around this railing and then you could kind of get out the door. And so being able to take a boat off the rack and walk straight out is nice. So and it's, it's an awesome building, like it has everything they need. Um, but I think like aside from all that, it's just it's what makes it special is that it's, it's ours and it's the, the, the city and the community encourage that so that we feel at home and feel like it's ours and feel like this is our base and this is where we want to be. I think that's, that's, the, that's the important part for me. I've been coming here since 04. Like I broke ground on the Chesapeake Boathouse and I gave a speech and I talked and I, that's when I met Mike and, and the people here and every year I, I came back for the fall regatta and I was talking to them and they're like, oh, here's what we have on plan for next year. Here's what we have, and then I come back the next year, like, there's no way they're gonna do that. And then it's built the next year. And they say, here's what we're doing next. And I come back, I'm like, there's no way. I was always reserving that, that skepticism. But every year I come back, it was, something more was done. And they had bigger plans in the works. And every, they just keep doing it. And I think they have no, they just don't, if, any, if somebody tells them they can't do it or they shouldn't do it, they just don't care, they just do it. Because they want to do it and they feel like it's gonna help people. And they feel like it helps the sport and it will attract people to, to come here, they're gonna do it. And I think that that kind of attitude for an athlete, like that makes a huge impact on their perspective about what they're trying to accomplish and like who they have in their corner, you know. I think that's key. And I think this is just the beginning. Like it's gonna, it's gonna keep building. Whether, whether we like it or not, like, whether we can handle it or whether anybody likes it or not, it's gonna happen here, so. I think that's cool.